Hello again and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a part two to my Hobonichi haul slash my Techo Kai. I just wanted to share all of the one piece items I purchased from Hobonichi. I had to add the updated pencil boards because they depict different arcs and I also love the updated wider tab. I was so happy when they announced that they were going to continue another year of One Piece Hobonichi and I love that they added a few new accessories. I got the stencil, they have Panda Man and all of these iconic One Piece kind of items. Some of them are a little bit more utilized than others. I like the icons more than the kanji dawn letters, but they're all still just really fun to use. They also came out with a volume two of the memo sheets, and these are just multicolored memo sheets that depict scenes from the manga, which is just so cute. And you get to kind of like revisit scenes that you know from the manga as well as from the show. I definitely want to add reading the manga onto my list this year. I know that will take some time, but I'm excited to start reading the manga because I love the show so much. And of course, I was really excited to add another weeks to my collection. I added the Going Merry weeks to my lineup pretty much at the end of last year. But then, of course, I couldn't say no to the One Piece A6 Techo because there's just so much detail that went into this notebook. You get scenes from the manga, you get quotes from the characters, just little details that make using this notebook so much fun. I just couldn't resist adding it to my lineup. And then of course, I just couldn't resist as well adding the Thousand Sunny Leather A6 cover to my collection. I just love everything about this cover. All of the different just, I mean, look at this embossed pocket over here. I just couldn't. It's the like mini Mary that they have. Oh my goodness. And of course my husband has the going Mary leather cover in black and I love how even the bags are kind of contrasting. Oh my goodness. I'm just so excited to add this to my collection have both of these covers. Anyway, let's get into the actual lineup of 2024. As I've mentioned, I have added a Weeks to my lineup. It's been a while since I've actually used a Weeks. The Weeks was actually the first planner that I used from Hobonichi and it's what started this whole journey for me. And I use this for work or even just personal stuff, anything I really want to keep track of. And it's just been fun. Like it's pretty simple. I don't do anything too fancy in this. This is pretty much just a kind of grab and go kind of planner for me. And I'm using the elastic pen sleeve from Midori as its closure. Moving on to the Thousand Sunny A6, I am using the One Piece Techo. And of course I have some stickers of some of my favorite characters, of course Luffy, and just again look at this cute embossing, I love it so much. And I have been having a lot of fun tracking some book releases in the monthly pages. I like to use my little book stamp here to mark those dates just as a fun way to remember them. And I'm starting something new, I am pulling a tarot card a day and I just kind of do a sketch of the different tarot series, like the decks I use, I use different ones and I just pull either a tarot or an oracle card and I either copy the card as best I can. Of course, it is low maintenance for me. I am doing this not to perfectly copy the artwork, but just to kind of get it down for my memory's sake because it'll mean something to me. And it's just a daily thing. I think it would be fun to do. I might even do something different on that day. If not a card, I could also just do like, oh, I made this meal, but just doing something fun uh, as a challenge for me. And of course, it's just another excuse to use another journal and a cover or even to just be creative. I, I love having multiple avenues to, to create something. And then of course, I am doing my five year Hobonichi for another year. I have this year and next year, and then I will have completed the five year Hobonichi, which I'm so excited about. Next up is my daily journal that is sometimes not always daily. I have decided to use again my standard TN that I've customized through Baumkuchen and I love it so much. So I just I really love the size even though B6 has been calling me. I just decided to, to do this journal again and I'm using a sterling, sterling ink 
insert, which is a slightly thicker, well, not slightly, it is a thicker notebook. And as you can see, I don't always journal daily, but I do like having the zipper pocket in the back for some ephemera. I have been thinking of maybe traveling more with this like throughout my day and maybe jotting down some stuff when I'm at lunch or something. We shall see. One thing I did kind of want to figure out a different way to integrate into my lineup is a book journal. Last year, I attempted to use my Olive Passport TN because it's just so cute, but this format did not work for me last year. So I am attempting to use this A6 Hobonichi cover with I'm already blinking what notebook is inside it, but the paper is really nice and I really love Hobonichi's pen this year. So I am attempting to do this notebook and filling it out once I have completed a book. So the book I read so far for the first book in 2024 is Brood and Magic, and it was a cute, cozy fantasy with some spice. I just, I really wanted a kind of low stakes, short book that I could read in between some other books and it just be kind of low maintenance. But we shall see if this style of notebook or size of notebook or whatever format will work for me this time. I've already attempted so many times, but... That's pretty much my lineup. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to know what your lineup is and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.